leaving the narcissist fantasy world. When you finally leave the narcissist fantasy world, you can end up feeling angry. You can end up feeling strong annoyance, displeasure or hostility. You may feel as though you want to get revenge on the narcissist. You may feel as though you want to hurt them or harm them in return for an injury or wrong that you had suffered at their hands. You may experience stress, anxiety or depression. This is a result of you being brought into the narcissist's fantasy world, their fake world or alternate reality. They imagine these impossible or improbable things in their head, these ideas with no basis in reality, and then suggested or implied them to you in a way where they were not directly expressed. They indicated the truth or existence of something by suggestion rather than explicit reference. They led you into this illusion where your perception became misinterpreted or distorted. Where you experienced a deceptive appearance or impression which was different from the true one. It was very misleading. They intentionally gave you the wrong idea or impression. They implanted false ideas and beliefs into your mind through use of deception and trickery. They gave you a false or misleading account of their nature, of their basic inherent features, character or qualities. They gave you a mistaken impression and tricked you into believing something that was not true for their own personal gain. Once you become aware that none of it was real and you were just brought into the narcissist's fantasy world, their fake world or alternate reality, this is when you need to detach. You need to disengage from the narcissist and that environment. You need to recognize and accept that none of it was real or genuine. And you need to find your way back to reality. Back to having the awareness and understanding of the state of things as they actually exist as opposed to an idealistic or notional idea of them. The narcissist fed you these false ideas and beliefs and created this alternate reality where things were based on suggestion, estimate or theory rather than actually existing in reality. They may have given you suggestions or ideas but none of it was real or genuine. None of it was what they were really about. When you begin to realize and accept this, it can be quite overwhelming. You begin to realize that you have been living this lie with a narcissist. They gave you a mistaken impression and tricked you into believing something that wasn't true for their own personal gain. When you begin to realize and accept this, it can be quite a sudden, upsetting or surprising experience. You become perplexed and confused. It's like you have suddenly woken up from this dream, this fantasy world this surreal mix of fact and fantasy where things that were strange or unreal seemed completely normal or usual where things that should not make sense 
do make sense. When you begin to realize and accept that it was all a lie, a fantasy, you wake out, you wake up out of this dream, this fantasy world. Once you have left the narcissist fantasy world, it is not the end of the endeavor or struggle. Because now you have adopted all of these false ideas and beliefs. You have conditioned your mind to operate with these distorted meanings and reinterpretations. So now you need to recondition your mind. You need to restore your mind to the way that it used to be before you got pulled into the narcissist fantasy world. You need to return your mind to its former condition, quality or work in order. The longer you spent in the narcissist fantasy world, the worse your mind may have become because you were in a alternate reality. You were detached from truth, morals and facts. Once you have left the narcissist fantasy world, you need to reconnect yourself to reality. You need to re-establish a bond of communication and emotion. You need to identify what is real and what is not real. Become more concerned with the principles of right and wrong behavior. Redevelop the ability to express these ideas and beliefs with reference to an argument, theory or policy in a logical and consistent way. Communicate what is right, what is true and what is real in an effective way. Participate in the action or process of unaltered or unchanged observation. Noticing things, especially significant details, in a way where your perception is unaltered or unchanged. Receiving unaltered or unchanged information or facts. That is reality. That is the state of things as they actually exist, as opposed to an idealistic or notional idea of them. That is reality, rather than something existing as or based on a suggestion, estimate or theory. That is the sum or aggregate of all that is real or existent as opposed to that which is only imaginary. When you are dealing with a narcissist, you are not dealing with anything real or genuine. There is no division or identification of what is real or not real, of what is right or wrong, true or not true. There is no division or clear identification of any of this. It is a surreal mix of fact and fantasy. The ideas or beliefs that the narcissist is presenting to you are not truthful or sincere. It is likely to be changed or altered before it is even delivered to you. Everything that you are observing from the narcissist, all of the information that you are receiving has been infected or polluted. When you observe the narcissist or receive the information from them, it is changing or altering your view on reality. When you interact or engage with a narcissist, you are being brought into their fantasy world and it is having a harmful effect on your mind. You need to self-reflect and go within. You need to develop an 
explanatory analysis of the understanding or inter interpretations that you have accepted from the narcissist. You have to go within yourself and conduct an investigation, an identification and a detailed examination of the ideas and beliefs that you have accepted from the narcissist. A process of separating these ideas and beliefs into constituent elements. You need to self-reflect and go within to do this. Because when you interact or engage with a narcissist, they are giving their attention and consideration to a fantasy world, an idealistic fantasy which provides them with amusement or enjoyment. That's what they're giving their attention and consideration to. And when you are interacting or engaging with them, it disconnects you from reality. You become perplexed and, conf and conf confused. Nothing makes any sense. Because anything to do with reality, anything to do with truth, morals or facts, cannot exist in the narcissist's fantasy world. It has to be changed or altered. It has to be given a distorted meaning or reinterpretation to exist in their world. So anything that you observe from them, any information that you receive will be changed or altered. It will be distorted or reinterpreted. When you receive it, you are no longer operating or existing in reality. You are receiving a wrong or misinterpreted perception. A deceptive appearance or impression. A false idea or belief. Which then separates you from reality. To recondition your mind and recover from this. You need to self reflect and look within. You need to overcome and take control of the mistakes that you have made. The mistakes that got you to where you are now. There was an act or judgment that was misguided or wrong. There was something that was misidentified or misinterpreted. There was a sudden malfunction, fault or unexpected setback which caused things to go wrong. It changed or altered your way of thinking, which then led to actions and behaviours which put you into that situation or environment. You need to self-reflect and look within to investigate and solve or explain the, the mental and emotional state that has developed from being around the narcissist. Observing and developing an awareness of your thoughts and emotions. Play back the situations and inspect, analyze, examine the acts or judgments that were misguided or wrong. The acts or judgments which were misunderstood or misinterpreted. You need to overcome and take control of these acts or judgments to avoid them occurring again. This will then reprogram your mind and make you able to deal successfully with problems or difficulties without any acts or judgments that are misguided or wrong, without any misunderstanding or misinterpretation and it will prevent or minimize the risk of any misguided or wrong acts or judgments in the future.
Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Check out the new merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.